What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be painting my front tow hooks on my Sierra. So I they're black right now, as you can probably see. But I'm gonna be painting them red to kind of give that that uh color of the new 2020 Sierras. And I think only the Sierra AT4s do it, but they come with the red tow hooks, and I think it would look pretty good on mine. My supplies for this project. So I just went to Lowe's and got these different sheets of sandpaper. I'm gonna use this for like the sanding of those tow hooks. Since they're so small, I didn't really need much anyway. So we got our sandpaper. I went and just grabbed this color red. I thought it kind of matched decently for the red tow hooks. And I mean, it's even a GM color, so I'll be what they use. And then I just went and got some clear coat from Lowe's, nothing too spiffy, but you can use it on metal. So that's what I'm doing and got my denatured alcohol to wipe off all any oils, dust from sanding, all that good stuff. And then this is for another project coming, so stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get taking those things off. So we have started and it is actually a couple hours later because I'm very stubborn. So I tried to get the tow hooks off with all the bumper and everything on, but GM kind of made it where the bumper gets in the way of taking the bolts out. And if you've ever seen videos about removing tow hooks, they mentioned, oh, you have to cut the bolt because this is in the way. Well, I tried all that and I didn't want to cut the bolt. And I tried like prying stuff out of the way and all that other good stuff. So I just did it the hard way. So here we are right now. I had to take everything apart because that's the only way I can really get to the bolts without, you know, cutting them. And we're finally about to get started on prepping, but we have to take the tow hooks off still. So we got to remove the bolts. And I'll show you here what bolts you need to remove. All right, so once you get down here, you got three bolts to take out for this tow hook. I already took out one over here because I could access it with the bumper on. But you got this one right here that's connected through the tow hook to this guy. And I can get this one out, but like I was saying beforehand, with this piece right here, there's a piece of the bumper that sits right there. So you can't, it's, it's, it's that piece right here. So you can't, you can't get your tools in there, so... I had to remove it, like I said, I didn't want to cut the bolt. So all I gotta do is just get like a socket and a wrench, hold this guy down and take him out. And it's the same thing for the other side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys out now and then we'll move on to the next step. Well, update, so I did find the issue. I forgot, it's actually, it's not the whole bumper issue. I mean, that has something to do with it, but the whole cutting the bolt process is because this thing right here gets in the way of the top of the bolt. Well, as you can see, I've been working it out. So it's gonna be probably the same process working it back in, I don't know just yet. But I'm actually taking the wrench here and instead of like, just, I guess, pulling on the, the bolt here or, or taking this off. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm taking the wrench and I'm just kind of like pulling, pulling the bolt out. And it's slowly working its way out. And actually, I think I can probably go ahead and just pull it out now. Oh, there we go. So all you really have to do is just get like, just get a wrench or something, stick it up in there and kind of pry the bolt down because the edge, the edge will be, well actually, yeah, the edge will, will sit where it's got, it's got the little notch up here. The notch will actually get stuck on the edge. So yeah, just get a little wrench, pry it up in there and try to push it down and then see if you can wedge it out and it eventually will just come out. So no bolt cutting. Whenever you get all the bolts out, you just take it, pull it straight on out. And then whenever I'm getting this little piece off, some people, some people have foam. Uh, I just have this weird like plastic piece. So with the other tow hook, I just kind of like start pulling off from the back. And then it slides right off. So probably clean that up too. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and prep the garage for getting ready to paint these. We'll prep these and then paint these. So first we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna keep this stuff where it's at. Move the golf cart up some so I can see more with the light when I sand down the tow hooks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and back the truck out. All right guys, so the Lord said it's gonna rain. So 
I really don't want the front to be exposed to all that rain and everything. I uh, might get like a sheet from the side and go ahead and cover it up or just cover up the, the opening and just let it kind of lay over so we can avoid getting overspray on the truck. And then actually what I'm thinking about doing is instead of doing the hanger from right here, I'm probably just gonna do it from up right here. Here's kind of how we're gonna have it. See, I literally just have it hung right there and then hung on this side. And see, it's kind of the very central of the garage. So I think I'll avoid all overspray. That's how we're gonna do it. So let's go ahead and start prepping these bad boys and then let's start uh, start putting our coats on. So we just got done sanding down the tow hooks and putting some denature alcohol on them to get all the extra residue off and all the sand dust off. I first hit it with the, I think this is the, oh, the 120. I hit them with the 120 first to kind of really get in there and get as much as that like rust and just, you know, kind of like a first little good hit on it. And then I came back over with the 220 to kind of give it more of a fine uh, sand. So this way the paint will lay nice and flat and even and it's come, it's come pretty good. So like I said, we just put the denatured alcohol on it. So this is it, what it'll look like whenever we go to spray it. It's all clean right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down one more time and then I'm gonna go ahead and hang them up and we'll go out for our first coat. All right guys, so I went ahead and just finished up putting all the coats of red. And let me tell you, I don't know what is wrong with this rattle can, but it leaked more than it really sprayed. And as you can tell, it leaked a lot. So, so far, they're looking pretty good. Not too shabby. I, didn't really I wasn't really concerned about doing the top as much as I was, which what shows. Really concerned about getting like the middle, the inside here, getting the front, the the bottom, and uh, just, you know, all on the back as well. So mainly I was kind of concerned about this way down because this is kind of what shows mostly. So I feel like I did achieve the goal of getting it as best as I can. Basically use the entire can down there. And so they look pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and start putting this first layer of clear coat on. All right guys, so I went ahead and just finished putting the, I put two coats of clear on there. I think that was enough. They don't need to be too bright and shiny. Not that big a deal. So this is kind of how they turned out. Not too bad. Focus on it. I wanted it to be smooth, you know, not too rough, not too much uh, orange peel. And I think they came up pretty good. So, not too bad. It says to let them dry for an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, let them dry up. And then I honestly just might let them dry overnight to be honest with you. Let them go and sit overnight and uh, I'll get back to you in the morning. We are back with these tow hooks. I let them sit overnight uh, just to make sure that the clear coat would really go ahead and just dry and harden. Well, here they are. They look pretty good. See, it's like perfect too, man. It, it's like, it's not too glossy, like kind of how like the paint is, but it's like, you know, you can see it. It looks like it was made for it. So these are ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and actually uh, start to reassemble everything. So put the grill back on. The trim piece, the bumper, all that stuff, so she can stop being <laughs> faceless here. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get all the stuff back once.
All right, guys, so we finally got everything reassembled, the bumper, the trim piece, the grill, plastic piece of engine bay, and first thoughts, that looks pretty daggum good, I'm not gonna lie. All right guys, so we are officially done with the painting the tow hooks project. And it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. The only terrible part was just having to disassemble everything and then, you know, of course, to put all back together. But other than that, check it out. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like it a lot, actually. Like I said, I think it really kind of cleans up the front and you know, gives it like that AT4 look from the new Sierras. So, you know, ain't nothing wrong with kind of giving, giving an old Sierra a new Sierra vibe. I like it though. It really kind of adds to the truck. So, gives it a little bit more character, you know? Something to look at. Not too bad at all. And it's kind of cool too, cause you know, I didn't want to strictly go to just match the GMC kind of burgundy. Cause I'm going to be wrapping that pretty soon to match the rest of the truck. And I'm also going to be repainting the grill and the two bumpers front and back to match the color more. Cause as you can obviously tell, yes, it is very two-toned. It sticks out like a sore thumb, but we're going to be fixing that soon. So stick around for that, but one more good look at it. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to, you can subscribe, keep up with this, this truck project. We have a lot more coming to it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.